Hi, it's Ethan Mussolini, the Merchant of Success. Welcome. In this episode, I want us to talk about the idea of teaching yourself or learning by yourself. I have a staff member who's, who believes that teaching yourself or learning by yourself is the most important thing in life, according to him. Well, I'm not sure whether it is the most important thing in life, but definitely one of the most important things that you can ever have in life. Why? Because as you learn, as you teach yourself, as you grow, as you expand internally, you'll find yourself, you'll find your outer life also expanding and growing. What I mean what? by that is you look at a skill, you look at an idea, you look at an industry, and you promise yourself to learn, to grow. And, you, and the question, of course, is how do you learn? How do you grow? There's uh, a book, I forget the author, but uh, it's, the title should explain itself. It's called How to Read a Book. And I believe what this author is putting across is how can you consume, process, and utilize the information that you're coming across in a book? They should be available at Amazon.com. So you have to start thinking about reading, for example, because that's uh, one of the ways to, to learn by yourself. And one of the most popular ways I know as of this recording, because I don't know when you'll be watching this video, it could be obsolete by then, is to utilize the power of video. I find YouTube extremely useful, especially for things which you need to um, learn by watching. So you can learn, pause, and do. You could also learn by listening. Like when I'm um, driving in my car, I typically have a video, I, not a video, I have an audio playing. By the video is a dangerous thing to be <laughs> watching while I'm driving. I see some people do it, I don't know how they do it. But la listen, listen to audios, audio books, it could be podcasts, it could be any other recording that you find useful. So that you're learning and growing. But at least what I know is you have to have the mindset of if I'm to grow, it's up to me. And you set it as an outcome in your life to make sure that you're pushing the boundaries to learn as much as possible. To learn as much as you can. Because when you do, then again you'll keep expanding to levels that you've never thought possible. And lastly, you, I'm challenging you to set a time frame and say, okay, uh, between this time and this time, it could be, say, first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening. Say, I'm going to teach myself how to do blank. I'm going to learn about this subject. I'm going to learn about this skill. So when you, uh, when you are in that frame, then it will create a level of consistency in your life and you'll be amazed. Just to give you some ideas, if you set aside one hour a day, every day. Those are 365 hours, 365 to 366 hours of learning. Now, in three years, that's over 1,000, over 1,080 hours of learning. What difference would that do to you? So that's the power of committing yourself. Don't wait for people to teach you, to push you to school, or for work to throw you out. So instead, give yourself that discipline of teaching yourself, of learning, and you'll be amazed at how much magic you'll create in your life. Till then, be happy, be blessed.